Isn't that crazy? It wasn't even 16 hours ago. We were trolling on the lake, smashing walleyes. Now, I'm stuck preparing baits to go ice fishing. So with a little bit of luck, hopefully we can get into uh, some of that uniquely flavored um, Christmas fish, also known as the Atlantic Tommy Cod, uh, one of the smaller fish of the cod family. But first, we're going to make a stop, pick up a couple of hitchhikers that join the party, and uh, we'll see you in a couple of days. Will you stop? I hear the kids. <laughs> Bonjour, fitches! We finally made it. We are up in Quebec, St. Anne's de la Parade. Pardon my French, I'm not very good at it, but St. Anne's de la Parade. St. Anne's de la Parade. And we're going to be targeting Tommy Cod. It's a really small fish, tasty as all heck that I've been told. Tommy Cod fishing! Now they're not quite all set up yet. I mean the festival isn't until February, but we arrived late last night. And as you can see, what they're doing is they're actually setting up all these poles, hydro poles, to run lines to all these huts. Now, I was told that there's going to be over 500 huts. Now, the season opened a couple days ago. We're fortunate enough that we're going to be allowed to get into one, and we're going to fish overnight, because at night, that's the best time for the tommy cod. This is what you call a tommy cod. this tommy cod fishing has literally become a historical tradition amongst the surrounding townspeople. In fact, the tom cod has been documented from the first French pioneers in the Three Rivers and St. Lawrence River as far back as the 1600s. But it wasn't discovered until 1938 in the St. Anne River. As the word spread throughout the region, visitors would come by train to fish the tom cod. Outfitters would pick up their clients at the train station and bring them to their huts on dog sleds. Now wouldn't that be cool? This year marks the 85th festival. Beginning in February, the ice turns into a winter carnival in honor of the little fish. During that time, you can expect an on-ice Ferris wheel, volleyball and hockey tournament, live music, tram rides between ice hut villages, sleigh rides, and lots of unique food vendors and plenty of activities for the children. Catching Tommy Cod? Uh, yes. And I'm at the right place, right? <laughs> yeah. This is part of uh, doing everything here. We're registering now. We're going to come back because we're night fishing tonight. Mike is so kind. Here, let me give you a hug, Mike. You're so cute. Treat us. Uh, come on, I'm messing with you. Okay. You'll we'll come back later? Yes. Okay. Yes. See you later. Charlie Brown Christmas tree or what? Authentic. 
I'm so excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. You should be excited because I'm excited. Okay, I can't wait for nightfall to get into one of these huts and do some fishing. So, I'm assuming it's your first time? Yes. Right? Yes. On one hook, you put your trim. On the other hook, liver, pork liver. It's the smell of the blood which attracts the fish. So it loses its blood very rapidly. You have to change it every five minutes or so. Shrimp will stay fresh much longer. 20 to 30 minutes for the circle, the smell will be much larger. And the two first week of the season, the fish not as hungry as on the rest of the, the season. So you maximize your chance of uh, wow. catching one with the, with the shrimp. And then you roll the line all the way to the bottom of the river. When your line kind of loose like that, the sink has reached the bottom. You have to fish about half an inch from the bottom. So you should just roll the screw until you don't feel any loose in the line. A bit more, a bit more, just like that. And then one, two, three more. You Perfect. see, you still see a little bit of current, okay, your line, because the, the, the frazz is not there, that uh, crunch ice. Uh, watch out for your head, sir. But you can adjust the line to compensate the current. Ah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. sometimes you have some, and a high tide it will stop a bit. I think it will be at 3, 4 a.m. high tide. Put a small piece of, piece of wood, match. So what you do is just a little noose, pretty simple, like that. Yeah, half inch. And because the line is twisted, so when you catch one, you'll see the little piece of wood and you do a little shake you'll feel the line a little bit uh, uh, yeah. heavier yeah. and remove it i like that every half an hour check check the line just yeah, to yeah. make sure that to adjust with what you know because it's not the first time you, you're fishing but just to check you're still three uh, three turn from the bottom perfect. and that's it perfect thank you very much i was you five explained and I was it really well fishing like a pro yeah. pretty easy for for a veteran like you <laughs> <laughs> I Let's catch some fish. Good. Let's catch some fish. Yeah, there's one. There well, you don't got say one. fish on or anything. Got one. Yeah. Oh, Amitad, look at that. Eh? This is what we come for. Beautiful Look how gorgeous. Runner, gunner. Hey, 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 hey. Tom Cod. Mr. Tom Cod. Look at the belly on that baby. It's my tummy cut. Whoa, look at the size of that one. Nice. Oh. Very nice. It's like a nice Good job, buddy. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Tummy cut. Oh, yeah. Tummy cut. What an absolute fantastic experience. I love the demonstration and the instructions that we got from Simon on the traditional method of catching the Tommy Cod. Nice one. Okay. Tommy Cod. And we've caught a lot of fish using it, but one thing I realized is they don't need that kind of finesse. They don't need any finessing. I mean, they bite. Uh, they do 
but I had to be different. I had to try a rod and reel. And I simply fashioned up pretty much the same thing that they've been using for hundreds of years, is I used a one ounce bell sinker uh, with a small snap tied to my 10 pound braided main line. I used a four inch dropper 25 pound test floral carbon actually tied right off to the eye of the bell sinker itself with a one knot hook and a little piece of shrimp. What this did was it allowed me to feel the bites better and giving me that opportunity for a better hook set. So yes, I did catch more fish this way, but the traditional method is awesome to experience and it works very, very well. If you're going to come out here, I suggest you rent one of these operators and take in that experience because you're not going to get it anywhere else. We got a ton of fish. We've had a lot of fun. And you know what? I'll be back for sure. It's not often I'm going to show you a toilet or the toilet. Come here. You got to check this out. Five star pork joint. Five star. This is how serious they are here, man. Ceramic tile, heated. A porcelain urinal, check that out. Running water, soap, lots of toilet paper, smelly stuff, and really, an electric hand blower. That's what I call taking a shit in comfort. In the 1980s, the Tom Cod started to decline in numbers due to the effects of commercial fishing. In 1992, a moratorium was put in place forbidding commercial exploitation of the Tom Cod. Today, the Tom Cod are flourishing and only may be taken through recreational angling. In the St. Anne River and within this specific zone, there is no catch limit to the Tom Cod. In fact, no license required either. 10 lines per person and cut bait such as shrimp are legal to use in angling for the Atlantic Tomcod. Now let's go see what these little boogers taste like. Tommy Cod and creamy coleslaw, how about that? Now I don't like that coleslaw with the zippity zing in it. I like it creamy, but I hate that zip. So I'm gonna revert to mom's old recipe. I'm too lazy to uh, chop up my uh, cabbage, so I simply just buy the one pound pre-shredded stuff, just like that. And the ingredients I use on this are pretty simple. You only need three. There's mayonnaise, sugar, and celery salt. You're gonna need one cup of mayo, not Miracle Whip, just one cup of mayo. Less than a quarter cup of sugar, okay? Less than a quarter cup. And you're gonna need some of that celery salt. Oh, just about that much there. Beautiful. Then you take it just like that and you're going to want to mix it. Now, it's a serious dry mix, but mix it up good, real good. See that? Just like that. Now, it's nice and creamy. Creamy coleslaw without the zip. Here, try that. With these cod, you can easily fillet them, but don't do that because Unlike the Atlantic cod, these Atlantic Tommy cod have so much flavor right underneath the skin. So I like to keep them. But sometimes it pays to listen to the locals. And I didn't remove the fins. I have now. Um, because the dorsal fin and the anal fins, pectoral fins, they have the uh, little bones in there. And they're not soft bones like a smelt. So I had a hard time navigating through those with my sausage fingers. So now I've removed them. Now I'm gonna pan fry these today. You can deep fry them, pan fry them, or do them in the oven if you wish. I'm gonna coat them lightly with a little bit of drakes. Just like this. Shake off the excess. I'm gonna pan fry these in butter. And then I'm going to season them with this sea salt that Italo had uh, introduced to me, uh, Herbamere. Wow, this stuff is amazing. I found uh, some at Metro and Costco here in Canada.
Ooh, looking good. Mmm, that is awesome. Holy cow. Too bad Linda's not here. Here's the Tommy the Cod. So before I end this video, I kind of got thinking on the ride home that the rig that I fashioned up on the ice, I think a slip sinker would have been a much better choice uh, to maximize the sensitivity. So that's something to think about. So God bless you. Be safe. Catch lots of fish.